Okay, we're going to continue now with our uh, exploration of some of the physics that's involved in martial arts. In our last couple of videos, we were looking at impact force, some of the things you could do to maximize impact force. Uh, in particular, in the last part of this series, we looked at the role that the duration of impact plays in determining impact force, and we discovered that you can certainly manipulate impact time, but you can't do so in a way that will enhance or increase the impact force that you're delivering. Uh, so now I want to look at a principle, a very basic, straightforward principle that will show us a variable that we can manipulate that will help us to accentuate the effect that our strikes and, and kicks, our various weapons, have on our opponent. And this is one I'm, I'm certain you're familiar with. You've undoubtedly at some point accidentally poked yourself with a pencil or with a pin. Now if you poked yourself with a pencil, you know that poking yourself with the point of the pencil is going to hurt much more than poking yourself with the eraser. And that's where today's concept lies. And that's something that we call pressure. See, now we're not just looking at force. We're going to be looking at the, the area over which that force is delivered and how the area affects uh, the nature of the impact. And in fact, pressure is force per unit area. And what you should see here is if the force is constant, if that's something that we've already established based on the conditions prior to the collision, prior to our impact with our opponent, well, we have control over the area over which we're delivering that force by our choice of weapons. So you can see it's important to choose the appropriate weapon, uh, not just so that it, it fits the target at hand, you wouldn't try to punch somebody in the eye, but also so that it, it's appropriately chosen so that you can deliver uh, uh, an impact over as small an area as possible and causes as much damage as possible by increasing the pressure. So that's our concept. Like I said, pretty basic, pretty straightforward. I have Moses here to help out just to illustrate a couple of instances in which this applies. Instances in which I'm sure you're, you're more than familiar, but it's worth highlighting, worth going over uh, one more time. Uh, let's look at a very basic combination we have. So the, the attack is a step through punch off the base model of the technique. Now I'm not going to have him step through fast because as he steps in, the, the idea of this technique is a very important tempo concept to beat action, meet action, and you noticed I threw a front kick. And you also noticed I didn't throw a front kick with the whole bottom surface of my foot because that wouldn't be as effective. What did I do? A front ball kick. Uh, again, minimizing the area over which we're delivering our, our impact force. What if he throws a punch again? I step out of line of attack, okay? There's many different techniques. Some techniques we might be crossing away. Some techniques I might be on guard. Uh, even if it's a low punch, a high punch. In this case, I might be punching to the temple and I'm using a back uh, two-knuckle punch. And it's at that it's the two knuckle punch, that, that part of the strike that's the most important to pay attention to, that we're striking with just these two knuckles, the, the first two knuckles in fact. Uh, most importantly that middle knuckle for proper transfer. Uh, and that's the same thing if he's stepping in and I'm throwing a punch down here to the ribs, I'm throwing that punch, I'm trying to impact with these two knuckles again. I'm not trying to strike with my whole fist. We already mentioned poking to the eyes, poking to the throat. Uh, using a middle knuckle strike, a spear hand, just to name a few more, okay? So that's, uh, again, that's the concept. It's a straightforward concept. You probably already understand pressure. You've probably already seen this equation, but it doesn't hurt to re-familiarize yourself with it and uh, go back over it one more time and take a look at your techniques, at the way you're implementing your basics, and ensure that you're utilizing this concept whenever and wherever possible uh, so as to enhance the effect of your strikes. So that's it for this tip. Uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.